Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this video is basically talking to you guys about hairstyles and overstyling that causes a hair loss condition called traction alopecia. So what traction alopecia is, it's basically it's a form of hair loss where if you are using styles and over styling your hair in ways where you are putting a lot of tension and stress on your hair strands, which then in turn damages the actual follicle that your hair is growing out of. But essentially I have damaged my hair and I have caused a lot of stress and tension to my edges, my nape area, and really just my scalp in general. And I have caused traction alopecia. Now guys, the reason why I'm so focused on the edges of my hair is really because the edges are actually the most visible part where you can see right away that there's damage. So when you are causing that friction and if you are struggling with hair loss or, t or traction alopecia, um, basically you're going to notice it right away right around the hairline and right at the nape area. You're going to notice it right off the bat. Uh, there will be damage in the middle part of your hair so you'll notice overall thinning and shedding but it's covered mainly by you know the the amount of hair and as well as it's kind of at the back of your hair so it's not like you can look in the mirror and see what's going on right back there so that's why when I'm going to be focusing on the damage that I've caused to my hair I'll be focusing mainly on the edges and the nape area many of us do this I know I am guilty of over styling my hair and over processing my hair I've done both so you guys know who have been following me that I have damaged my hair. So one of the, the biggest ways I did this was I was a fan of braids and I was a fan of wigs and those two areas of styling and those those type of accessories that I use right on my hair and right on my scalp has caused a world of damage for my edges and my nape and for those of you who have seen the pictures and you've been on this journey you've seen that I even shaved off the side well I'm gonna get into that so guys when I used to use braids let's just focus on one area at a time like I'm the type of person who would change the color I would change the style I would change the length of my braids but essentially that was like my go-to style I always had in braids all of high school all of growing up and I think it's just something that my mom did because I have a really tightly coiled kinkier textured hair and it's very difficult to deal with if you're not used to dealing with that type of hair. My hair wasn't as manageable as my other two sisters and definitely not as manageable as hers. So I, I guess she just kind of just always put my hair in braids because it was just, you know, easy for her to just style my hair daily going to school in braids. So as I grew up, I just adapted that uh, hairstyle and it was just like a go-to hairstyle for me and I, I loved it. You know, the styles can switch so easily. You wake up in the morning you put your hair back it was just easy maintenance loved braids what I didn't know was the damage I was causing to my hair by using these braids and that's because I did a number of things that caused extreme damage one I left my hair in for months at a time so I'd pretty much keep my hair in braids for about three to four months at a time when I did style my hair it was always the my signature style is just pulling back either the, the the middle half really really tight or pulling it into a ponytail really really tight and that caused a lot of damage to my hairline as well as the back the nape area if you are pulling your hair back or pulling that tension on it you know maybe even washing your hair and then letting the the heavy wet braids pull on your hair strands you're pulling you know that is another way of causing traction alopecia Another thing that I, I did improperly when I was putting my hair in that style was that I was not moisturizing or conditioning my hair. I really put it in braids and left it alone, didn't look at it, didn't touch it, didn't cover it at night. And because of that, you can see in this picture right here that I have the braids in and you can see around the, the front side section, there is some thinning right there. And then if you go ahead and look at the back, you can also see some thinning. Now overall, once I took out my braids, I would incur a lot of thinning, a lot of shedding. My hair would be bald in some of the areas including the front and the nape and that essentially got worse over time when I took out my braids as you can see in this picture even though the rest of my hair is long it's growing it's flourishing the sides have minimal hair it's very short very thin and not growing very much so that is all an example of traction alopecia just on the braids and things that I was never taught things that 
I never even thought of until I started my natural hair growth journey and realized my hair was super damaged and I had no idea why. So along with the braids, which was my signature, that did cause a lot of hair damage. Uh, my second run to style when my hair was not in braids, it was actually in wigs. I would always be wearing wigs. I would change the, the, the look, I would change the length, different functions required a different wig, but essentially I was always switching up my wigs. Now, how this is very similar to braids is that even though the braids, it's more like a heavy, pulling down, you know, stretching back. Now, you're not doing that with wigs, but with wigs, you are actually putting either one of two things. You're either putting the wig directly on your hairline, you know, even the lace front wigs, you have to put it all the way up to the front. That is causing a lot of damage to your edges and to the back. It is pulling, it is, it is, you know, pressing and, 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 and cutting off circulation and breaking it off as you take off and put on the wigs. That is causing damage that I never knew. I never thought about it. I literally thought I was protecting my hair by putting on wigs. And you know, once again, it's really easy. It's convenient. I did it very often when I didn't have my hair in braids. They destroyed my edges and my nape area. And if I didn't put the wig directly on my hair, like most of us aren't even supposed to do, I was using the wig caps and the wig caps are just as bad as just putting the actual wig right on your hair. So what you'll see in this picture is I'm wearing a wig cap and you can see that it is sitting directly on my edges and it is cutting off my blood circulation. It is rubbing against my edges. It's really tight and that over time will have damaging effects to your hairline and to your nape area. But in this picture, you can actually see that it is not directly on my hairline, but if you look really closely, you can see that my hair strands are being pulled back by the wig cap. And what that does is it's really putting a lot of stress and tension on your hair as it's pulling and rubbing. And once again, guys, by doing either of those, you're going to incur damage and essentially, hair loss and with that might come the condition uh, traction alopecia. So guys, so whether I was wearing braids, whether I was wearing wigs, whether I wore the wigs with or without a wig cap, I was also a culprit of perming my hair and using harsh chemicals on my hair. Uh, along with the harsh chemicals when my hair was straight, I would use hot tools, whether it's a blow dryer, a curling iron, straighteners, you know, to keep that look. That also over time will cause damage from the heat and, you know, from putting that stress on your hair. And if it's not done properly, overall, guys, it's going to be a world of heartache when your hair does start to thin out and get very brittle and break off. There's a lot of complications when we try and overstyle and overprocess our hair. The chemicals alone damage my scalp. I, I remember going to the hairdresser and after getting my hair done, I looked, you know, fresh and my hair looked slicked down. But some of the times there was actually times when there was pus like right on um, the edges, the nape, uh, after a week or so, you can see it starting to flake off and, you know, it, it, it was, it was painful and in, in my hair, the same thing, but it was mostly around the edges and the nape area of my hair. Chemically processing your hair can damage your hair in general, just like the actual hair, but it can really damage your scalp as well. One area for us natural girls who are like, well, I don't do weaves. I don't do braids. I don't do any of that stuff. So I'm good because I twist my hair and I, you know, corn roll. I let me stop you right there. When my hair was natural, I used to put in cornrows. Uh, even I sometimes I would use extensions and sometimes not. Um, as well as when I had my natural hair, even in its afro state, no braids, no nothing, I was a culprit of pulling my hair back into tight ponytails. And in this picture, you can see that right at the back, there is hair loss. There, There is no hair growing out of that area. It's very short, it's thin, it's brittle. My hair was not growing at the, at the back nape. That's also what it looked like in the front. So when I was pulling my hair back into these tight ponytails and brushing and slicking and making sure it looked fabulous, I was damaging my hair and I did cause tension alopecia without even knowing it. So that could be something you're doing as well without even realizing it because you're natural. I know I did it. I damaged my hair and, you know, 
there are ways now that as I'm natural, you can see that I am not pulling back my hair to the full extent that it could be pulled back. Now guys, I didn't come on here to bash you about hairstyles and over-processing and, and tell you all the bad news. I actually came to share some good news with you because guys, as you can see, I'm a living example of somebody who has lost their hair and was able to overcome traction alopecia and to get my hair to grow back so you can see that the edges are doing well my hair is growing back it's flourishing um it's just right now it's just like in a very messy bun at the top um my hair is not long enough to you know fully put under there and if i stretch it maybe i could you know get it in a cute little neat bun but i'm not going to stretch it because traction alopecia <laughs>